Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group, hanging out here with Zach Briggs, Geek Group member, who is looking and feeling his best today after being at the LAN party here until 6.30 in the morning. So, yeah, did you sleep at all? About three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, look and feel your best today for heavy lifting and grunt labor while we tear this apart. Oh, yeah. So we're here for what hopefully will be the last day of big teardown on the Project Kevin Equipment Autopsy as we decommission this giant KUKA robot. Um, most of the parts are off already, as you've seen in previous videos. In this episode, we're going to take off the big main piece here, which I'm sure has a name, but I don't know what the hell it is. It's a big blue thing right here. We're going to take this off, which we have to do by getting off these, the four bolts back here. This one doesn't slide off. Mm -hmm. um, it's just going to pop. Okay. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to grab it with a forklift, put that through here, which will support it, and lay then, it down as far as we can with the forklift, mm -hmm. and then we can just pop the bottom and set it off aside. Okay. Kind of dangerous, but we should be fine. Um, after that, we're going to tear into the inside. We want to get rid of the linear actuators, the motor, and various other bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. And as always, as we go through this, we'll take the time on anything interesting to stop and say, hey, this is this, and this is that, and all that jazz, because that's the purpose of this. There's a whole world of guys out there, um, especially the techie geeks, that like to take things apart just to see how they work. Well, normal people don't get to take apart giant industrial robots. So since we have the chance, it is our duty as geeks to share this opportunity with the world. So you guys follow along, have fun, and uh, we're going to rock out. So let's start with getting the forklift. I'll grab that, and okay. we'll spot it in through there. Thankfully, I just happen to have this convenient forklift right here. <laughs> Down a little. Well, let me line it up first. No, it's all right. No, you're good. Okay, I'm going to have to back up in a bit. Um, but here, we're going to do a little ballet. That's cranked as far this way as it'll go, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Try it. Ah. Is it moving? Yeah, you're moving it. The further we get this way, the better, because once we're out this way as far as we can go, I'll take the pressure off it, and we can take this bolt out, and that'll release, because the only thing holding this on to that right now is this one bolt on this thing, mm -hmm. which I'm sure has a name, but it, it's part of the pillow block, so <laughs> keep going down. Yeah, you're starting to put load on the forks now, so that's cool. Yeah, I'm starting to encounter resistance. All right, here, let me drop tweak that a bit. There you go. Hey, Mikey. Yeah. Can you back up the forklift a little bit, or you need me to do that? I got it. All right. I need you to come back just like six inches. Stop. Yeah, right there is good. Can I do that? Yeah. All right. Keep keep on trucking. Bring it down here. Um, it's free floating a little funky. Huh? The crank is free floating funky. Yeah, that should be better. Well, it can't fall at this point. The forklift will catch it. And it's still bolted on at the bottom. But I can start taking some of these bolts out. I think that's the end of my uh, reach on that. It might be. Yeah, if I do that much more, I'll break a tooth. OK, cool. Um, then the next step is to take out that bolt there. So it should be the on wrench down behind you. One of those two. They're a set. One's got the ball end, one doesn't. But that should fit there. And while you're doing that, I'm going to loosen these bolts down here. I need that big one. Yeah, that's a right one. Let's see if I can't break a knuckle today. 
day without blood is like a day without sunshine. Is that really John Wayne? Or yeah, it really just... is John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, my dad was a huge John Wayne fan. Well, he still is. And uh, I have seen pretty much every John Wayne movie there is probably five or ten times each. Some of them I've seen several times. Like Hellfighters. It was my favorite movie when I was a kid. Hellfighters. See, I was more of a Clint Eastwood fan. I like older Clint Eastwood, but I don't like the, the spaghetti westerns. Just never got into that. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, up around the ring. Yeah. Actually, I might even be able to get down there. Oh, yep. All right. Now, in theory, at this point, that's free-floating. So if I lay it down with a forklift, it's going to follow me. And then we can lay it down and get these bolts out. Okay. Down here. So I'm going to grab the forklift. Stop. Light it down a little bit. Okay, back up about another six inches. Stop. Light it down a little bit. Actually, you might be able to go all the way with that one. All right. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's got these uh, bumpers. Huh? The arm's stopping against these bumpers. Oh, hell. Um, all right. That's a good thing. How's that? I'm going to put this here just as safety. Okay. And But, yeah, that's actually a really good thing. Watch. Now, see, we're sitting on these bumpers here, right, mm -hmm. on each side. And what that does is this is forced up against that pin, mm -hmm. okay? So we can take these off, and we don't have to worry about this slamming down to the floor. And then when we want to take it out, I just come in and lift that up. Mm -hmm. And it'll go whink and come straight out. So okay. it's actually kind of a bonus. Um, now at this point we have to loosen these, okay. which will be both fun and rewarding, I assure you. Mm -hmm. that? Not really. Four. At this point, that arm is not connected to the robot. It's held in there by gravity and friction. So, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Stand back. <laughs> this could get exciting in a hurry, especially if that flips off forward. And there's really, without getting into straps and rigging and crap, there's nothing I can do to prevent that. So stand well clear. I'm not in it. Okay, everybody safe? Clear. All right, I'm going up. Well, I'm going in first if it'll let me. Forward. Yep, there you go. Okay, it's gonna pop out in a second. Ready? I got a, I got a really good engagement on there. Oh, that's cool. I can use the side camera to see where my forks are. That's handy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for camera too. I should be totally free. Uh, cables. What cables? The cables that are attached to the arm. All right, let's disconnect the cables. It is safe and stable there. It's not going to fall or anything. Yeah, I got to figure out where they go first. All right, let's cut the cables. I was going to say, you got a pair of bolt what cutters cables or something? are there? They're these. Oh, those two down there. I didn't even see them because they were buried down in the robot. I was going to say, we might as well just clip the damn things. Yeah. Um, we got a pair of bolt cutters or? Oh, I'm sure we do. Burning shears. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a. Uh... Yeah, all right. We're going to take a break and find bolt cutters. So we'll be back in a second. We've got it disconnected now, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> 